Saturday good morning. It's now Monday. I didn't film it all yesterday. It was just a super lazy Sunday. I visited a new church via Zoom. What else did we do? We got our Sunday bagel. I took a nap. I never take naps, so I took a nap and took Fiverr on a walk in a new neighborhood. Did some drawing, did a Valentine's Day drawing on the iPad. Did some laundry. It was just a super chill Sunday and I didn't film it all, but today I am. Today I um, heard back from the woman who commissioned me to do this morning, or I guess late last night she emailed me saying that she loved the painting so I don't need to make any changes. I'm going to drop that off to the printers today and um, I'm going to continue to look for the sweatshirt for the, the Still Sad commission. And then I have a couple other random things to do. I, I want to finish that digital painting for Valentine's Day. Yesterday was the Super Bowl. We didn't watch it at all, but I know the Rams won. Today's Valentine's Day which we don't really celebrate either in our household, but I'm meeting with my sister and mom tonight to talk about a wedding shower stuff for my sister-in-law. What I'm doing, when well, I'm starting my day with an Egg McMuffin, I'm challenging myself with um, trying one of their new menu hacks. I think the only breakfast one they have is a hash brown McMuffin. So I'm getting that and a coffee. See if we like it, see if it's good. Good morning, thank you. Thank you. Yep, thanks. So the way you do it is you construct the sandwich yourself. They give you the hash brown and then you put it on the egg McMuffin or sausage McMuffin. Really, do I want a hot sauce? I wish we had ketchup. It's good, it's a little dry. I wish I had asked for some ketchup, but I like it. It would be a, a super challenge to try the like land, air, and sea sandwich they have, which is like a chicken patty, hamburger, and a filet of fish all in one sandwich. I don't know how you take a bite of that. Even this is kind of a challenge. Why do you look offended? Hmm? Why do you look offended? Stop number one, we're gonna drop off the print. Print has been dropped. And then I also stopped in the dollar store and got a hotel to drink on the road and impulse buy at the checkout were these Lisa Frank stickers. I thought they'd be cute to add to Poshmark orders or even just prints that I drop off with people. If I write a letter, I can embellish them with this. I love Lisa Frank. I wanted a three ring binder of hers when I was a kid. So now I'm gonna go ahead to Greensboro again and um, Get these things done and then call it a call it a life well lived. This is expired. This is expired. Yeah, that's not gonna work. It's much later in the day. Focus on me. I had no luck with sweatshirts. I can't find them anywhere. So I even went to Walmart and they they were all picked over there as well. I think what I will do is tomorrow just maybe go to the Haynes outlet. We've got one here in Winston, so I'll go and check that out. I came home to a letter from my auntie, who is an amazing calligrapher. I will show you the front of the envelope, but it has the address on it. I'm very excited to see what she sent me. Oh, it's, I love this, two robins. Well, my battery just died. It's really sweet. She sent a bunch of family photos. Let me see if there's one here I can share. Me and somebody's bottom. 
Thank you, Aunt Joey. Anyways, that's really sweet. I'll bring those up tonight when I go up for my mom's making a dumpling and noodle soup tonight. And then, like I said, we're going to be talking about baby shower stuff. So I'll bring these photos up to share. That's wonderful. I don't know. Do you need big bowls? You might need big bowls. Oh, my goodness. Right? I'll take a picture. <laughs> this wow, this looks this amazing. Too what would you do? I would do, if it was me, I would do a deeper bowl. Deeper? Oh my goodness, how this is getting complicated. Well, no, yeah, the first one. That's oh, really? Deeper. Yeah. Bigger, deeper? Because I have lots of bowls. <laughs> it's the first one spot. Hazelnut spread? Ooh, the hazelnut. What'd you say? The first one? Nutella? The sushi station. Today, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't do it. it. Right, do I? Should I? Can I? I was like, oh, there. It's just concrete and. <laughs> 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 I didn't think it was that. Oh. It was like, I'll smile. How much longer do I have to do this for? This, yeah, this Jeremy photo is funny. Ramsey, with the one who's uh, checking his teeth. Yeah, it looks. <laughs> it, Looks like now, Jeremy. Yeah, and she did this artwork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's cute. So, yeah. Oh, you know more about her than I do. Uh, well, she's like posted on Instagram, so I follow her. She's always like painting, so making bread, making bread, and salads, and what else? Yeah. I love the things the animals so say to each other. Yeah. <laughs> That's bad. That was cracking me up. What? The video, like, they're fine. She looks like she's smiling a lot. Her mouth turns up a little okay. bit. Okay. Um, we're going to go with Dina. All right, all right, Marina. Good night. 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 Mm -hmm. Are you recording this? Mm -hmm. Which is unfortunate because I really like you with the apples, but I can't use any of this audio. Well, I have to talk about something else. Okay. What shall I talk about? Um, nooks and crannies. don't know if I should show you or not. I definitely don't think you'll think it's funny. I'll show you. Then you Hi, it's now Tuesday. And I'm on my way to go see my friend Corey. Visit her in her studio. She just texted me. I'm gonna draw and catch up. I have a old coffee I'm bringing along and an apple I'm gonna eat on the way there. It's just Corey saying she'll be a little late. But we already knew that. Already knew it. What's wrong, little Cory? Thank you. Hi, it's now Thursday and I'm about to head up to my mom and dad's house. I'm working with my mom today, but I thought I would finally, 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 finally. Yesterday I found the sweatshirt I was looking for. I thrifted again, four different, I, I thought, I bit the bullet and I was like, I'm gonna get a new one at Michael's. They have Gildan, or Gildian sweatshirts. 
they were out. Um, so my hand was forced. I had to continue to thrift and I found one. The fourth Goodwill I visited yesterday, I actually found two. Um, so I thought I would do a very, very quick haul and it's not even a haul, it's just two sweatshirts. This really cool blanket that I found. I really like, it looks like it's hand knit. I found a sweatshirt dress which I thought was really cool. It has like a little bit of a flare at the bottom. It's a uh, Nine West too, it had the tag on it. So never worn, Nine West XXL and then two XL black sweatshirts. One is True to the Loom, actually it might be navy, I'm not sure. But there's one and then two. This one is Jersey, two XL. So I'll get measurements for this and then send it to the woman who wants the sweatshirts and see which size she prefers. But for now, I'm gonna go grab my mom and I some coffees, I think. I'll see if she wants one. And then head up to her house. I'm gonna be working at the bin today. The storage unit, fun stuff. I have to get a before shot. Where is this all? <laughs> I think I'll just empty, just pull this stuff out of here. Everything? Yeah, so I can, yeah, and then I'll just empty bins one at a time. Uh, that one will go home too. That one doesn't have a match. And this is Goodwill. Okay. Is there anything in there you want? Um, have your, how do you feel about her being an outdoor cat? It is Monday, and this is gonna be the last day that I make a video. I just dropped off the portrait, commissioned portrait that I did. And now I'm back home, and I'm going to answer this text. Hi, Gush. Hi, you enjoying the sunny weather? It's 66 degrees today. So what I'm gonna be doing is making my little greenhouses, little plant greenhouses. Saved these milk jugs from Thomas's milk and so what you do is you slice open I'll kind of maybe I'll walk walk you through the step but I drilled holes in the bottom in the bottoms and yesterday I did the bachelor's button before the sun went down and now I'm gonna plant the rest of the seeds I have some seeds that I bought and then some that I harvested from the flowers last year so I'm going to do now I'll show you my setup for seeds, I have yarrow and no, this isn't yarrow. See, I didn't label it, but I know what it is. I know it's that purple flower. This looks like coneflower, echinacea, and maybe some yarrow. This one I labeled, yellow watermelon seeds, but I actually, I won't be planting these because um, they don't transplant well. So I'll just put those directly in the soil when the time comes. That's, I don't know, I think either yarrow or that purple plant, and this is beautyberry. And then for seeds, I have some, these are all from the dollar store. Some flowers I won't transplant, I'll put those directly in the soil. I've got some California poppies, bachelor button, two kinds of morning glory, purple and blue and some snapdragon. The um, morning glory last year I had growing up this telephone pole, so I think I will do that again this year. I liked, I liked doing that.
now crushing up the yarrow. It's fully dry, trying to get some of the seeds out. This is what the seeds look like. Now I'll try planting them and hope that this is really yarrow. Did you know, fun fact, yarrow leaves can be crushed up and used as a salve to stop bleeding. I now have the coneflower. Not exactly sure how to get the seeds. Oh yeah, I think, yeah, those are the seeds. They were not all eaten by the birds, but this must be the seed there. Kinda hurts. This is white echinacea. Ouch. If this works, then hopefully I'll be able to make more of these to share. Just because I have so many seeds. And I'm not sure what this is. I really wish I had labeled things. I'm going to guess that it's yarrow. But it looks so different from the other thing that I thought was yarrow. So maybe... No, I'm almost certain this is yarrow. Yeah, I don't know what this will be. We'll just put a question mark. in your guesses now what you think this is going to be. I'm now going to wait for them. I've got them lined up here on the sidewalk. I'm now going to wait for them to dry off and then I will duct tape them and put them in the container with the bachelor button. Okay, I think I might have solved the mystery. This is some of my yarrow here. Oh my gosh, these little leaves are just the cutest and I forget what this stuff is called you can see it growing down here starting to grow I know finches love it it's like um, almost like a succulent is it sedum is that its name but these are the what I thought was yarrow is actually this seed so that means that the mystery seed might be yarrow but now I'm trying to remember what this is let me know if you recognize those little curly cues down there. The sun has now dried off the milk cartons. So I'm putting, I'm wrapping them with the duct tape now. And 